Ladies and gents, it's time for the next reaction video. This time I'm gonna do it alone because my daughter is busy with her own channel. So, excuse me for that. Maybe she's gonna be back for the next one. And today we're gonna have Linden Fire or Linden's Fire in Spotlight. And he sent me a recording where he's doing five kills in Armory. We're gonna not watch the whole video, just the first game. Um, I expect to have five kills because that was written on screen. He's playing with an AAC, he's playing in a team, so no solo. And as you can see, he is already pushing hard into armory, destroying, basically dis destroy, disregarding the bots. He's not even, you know, absolutely not slow playing it. They are running and then destroying the bots. And then the first thing, as I can see, bottom floor, basement or whatever this is, canals. This is, this is what usually people are doing. They are securing that area to get the free safe and then opening the door. So it's not a surprise to see that gameplay. And as far as I can see, he's running with an AAC, 2X zoom and um, T5 helmet, T5 armor. Basically kind of the standard uh, um, like loadout for professional players. AAC might not be the most common gun. Usually it's a, a, a fall, but uh, AAC is definitely a very, very strong choice. And I guess we got to the point where they secured kind of the area and they are waiting for the first players to come in. So Linden is like, positioning himself. I think he's trying to understand where the enemies are going to come from. Uh-huh. So I guess enemies were coming from the, the broken side. And I, I, I think he's checking whether somebody ran through from behind. Oh, oh! Oh my god, that, that that was that was his first kill. But how did he know? There were no footsteps. I, I didn't see any footsteps. Maybe maybe he heard someone creep walking. I don't have the headphones on, so maybe he heard somebody like walking and that's why he jumped down. But definitely a good read from him. Definitely um very very nice um understanding of the game. And now he's again just patiently waiting. I like it. I didn't see too many... Oh, come on. That was a sneaky kill. From this hidden room. Like just waiting for the right moment. And then doing the kill. And I think he has his next target already. So he has two kills already. Okay. Weakening the enemy with a nade. Doing some... Uh-huh. Running upwards, nades are incoming, and then just simply shooting shooting the enemy in the back. Pretty nice. I, I'm, he, he's not really afraid of uh, getting shot. I like that he's either like hiding somewhere and then being patient, but if he pushes, then he actually pushes and he doesn't stop. Many players have a, a bad habit of pushing and then freezing, and then if they freeze, they basically give away their position and then they just easily die. But Linden Fire is, 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 is on the move. He keeps moving. I like it. That was just an AK-1010. Mm -hmm. But who? who? Well, 1010, AK-102. Um, interesting. Interesting build or interesting loadout. Like a T5 helmet and then like I would say a pretty trash gun. But it was his third legend kill, if I'm not mistaken. I guess he's gonna want to check the other um, other kill he had. Yes, that's what he's doing. He's securing the area. You should always do that. Always do that. Always check the surroundings. Always check if there's anybody else here. Because if you kill somebody, then there might be other players like actually watching that body. That's very important. Regardless of your current rank, always do that. Don't like blindly just run to the um, to the enemy. Just always be mindful that there might be somebody watching that body, that drop body. Because if you have a kill, then sooner or later you will want to pick up your loot. And uh, this is why it's important to smoke the area or to be very cautious to make absolutely sure that nobody is there. And Linden is still like thinking that there might be other players around. So he's throwing some of the nades. And in case, guys, 
you know, you were asking why nades are so important. So this is why nades can help you reveal enemies. And look at that nice loot. Look at that four with the two X zoom. This is the one I've been promoting in my previous video. It's not a surprise that that gun is exceptionally nice. Very, very juicy loot. He has to start tetrising hard. He has to start thinking about what to leave behind. And interestingly, that guy had... Did, did that guy have T3? Oh my god. That, that, that was a nice read. Nice reaction. He didn't even think. Mm -hmm. He was peeking and shooting without... Oh, yeah. Without... He, he just knew. He just knew that the enemy is there. This is what we need to learn in the game. This is what puts you into the advantage. This is how you can become a very good player. Very good read again. He knew that somebody is there. He was checking that area. You know, if you are clueless of where your enemies are, then obviously you have no chance fighting, fighting them. But Linden, he knows. He's turning into the direction where the enemies are. He's very good in that. And he knows that somebody is above right above him he's disregarding the bots because there are some footsteps coming from further away those are bots and he absolutely knows that he's tracking down the enemy like an expert and i i'm, I'm, I'm wondering how he, he's gonna do the kill and at this point nice nice well it was like you know a coin flip type of kill because he could have died but, but still, it was a nice kill. It was a nice kill. Let's see what else he's gonna find. He already found an RPK, a fall, and then... What is this? Another fall. It's gonna make him so rich. I think he already has at least one million loot in his bag. And uh, I don't know what the final number is gonna be. But at this point, he, he will need to be mindful of uh, what to pick up because of the, the weight. And fortunately he found uh, a strength injection. By the way, in case you don't know, there are two strength injections. The smaller one is gonna give you uh, 10 kilograms boost. Another fall, another fall, another fancy fall, another exceptionally nice fall. I think out of the three kills, he had three falls. Yeah, it's good proof that this is kind of the best weapon in the game. And he found the big bag. So all he needs needs to do is to start Tetrising. I mean, he needs to do it fast because if it, the, the strength, injection, strength injection effect is going to go away, then he's going to have a hard time like walking out of the, the map. So what I wanted to say that there are two types of strength in injections. The smaller one is going to give you 10 kilograms boost. So instead of... 70 kilograms you can carry up to 80 kilograms and the bigger one is boosting you with um, 15 kilograms so in case you use that then um, you can you can carry up to 85 kilograms this is why usually professional players have um, at least one of those or carrying one of those with them so when it comes to tetrising and extracting they don't need to worry about the you know the you don't need to leave stuff behind because that extra 15 kilogram is basically required if you have a big bag. Okay, why can't he open this safe? Need to deal with. <laughs> Seems like the safe got bugged or is too far away. Something, something's wrong with this safe. Oh, oh, why was there another T6 hammer on the floor? Jeez, oh my god. His teammate died. I didn't. I didn't see when and how, but it seems like he's, uh, you know, also kind enough to return some of the stuff. This is what you should be doing if you have teammates. If you have like people you trust, not necessarily randoms, but people you trust, then at least try to return something. If not everything, at least the gun or the scope or the magazines or the ammunition. Just return something. And what Linden is doing, and what what usually other players are doing is a perfect example on how to play armory try to be the first one getting into armory uh -huh. what is this 
Try to be the first one getting into armory and then securing it. Whoever comes, you kill them and then basically you, you wipe the lobby and you don't go out. Then you go to the canals and then you extract. But what what was this back here and what was this this AX gun here? Maybe somebody already had a kill outside and then when they moved into the armory from broken side, they just dropped the bag and the AX just to come back later. I guess that that's what's happened. And uh, it's the teammates bag. Uh -huh, okay. So I guess uh, we're not going to see any further action here because he's been doing the five kills. And I guess Tetrising, yeah, he's done with the Tetrising. He's one more time checking if everything is fine. 99 kilograms, my boy. Oh, I'm almost 100 kilograms. <laughs> and that's, yeah, by the book. He's running upstairs. He's checking things one more time. And then he's just, uh, um, you know, waiting for the extraction timer to go down. And he's going to become rich, very rich, my, 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 <laughs> my friends. And this is, I, I've been talking recently about, um, you know, the fact that if you are playing with a high loadout, then you have to um, have good loot, good enough loot. And this is good proof on what needs to be done. So if you are risking 400,000 per game, then you need to have these games. You need to have them, otherwise your inventory or storage value is gonna go downwards. I'm very curious to see uh, the final number. I think it might be 1.3 um, million, maybe. Maybe I'm underestimating it, I don't know. But we're gonna find out very, very soon. He's gonna check one more time the bag he, he left behind after clearing the bots. Timing is perfect. If you check the timer, he is he has one minute remaining, and then he extracted with with a juicy 1.4 million. Oh my God, that's crazy, crazy! Congrats, Lyndon. And here are the kills. He he actually killed Yusef, Yusef and Real. I think those those guys were playing together. Oh man, oh man. So this is this is what to expect guys if you are playing the the, the big armory, the ATK armory. You are going to face uh, players like Linden and Yusef. So be mindful of that if you are <laughs> considering to play the ATK version of armory, but this is definitely worth um the risk. I mean armory uh, especially if you have keys it's definitely worth the risk, but you need to be good at the game. You need to practice, but then at one point, at one day, you can kind of step up and then head into Armory. So Linden, congrats. It was a really, really nice game. Nice kills. Thank you for sharing this with me. Guys, everybody who is watching this, hop over to Linden Fire, Linden's Fire. Again, you're going to see the links in the description. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. Let me know if you want to see more of these. And um, as always, shoot, loot, subscribe. See you in the next one. Shady out. Bye.